today we got the review for the Jordan 3 Craft Ivories. I've been low-key prolonging this video for the past week. I've been dying, bro, with a fever and all that. I'm still low-key sick, but I gotta come through with the review for these since they do drop literally tomorrow. In this video, I am gonna throw them on feet. I'll show you all the little details, even compare them to the Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined because the shape on these is a little bit different and I want you guys to see that first hand green sticker inside the box shout out to the homie marv for getting me right with these label reads air jordan 3 retro craft color code is ivory gray mist cream for all my new jordan 3s i've been going nine and a half ever since i got the white cement 3s which i'll get into that when i get into that here we got them the jordan 3 craft ivory this is definitely gonna be a sleeper for a lot of people i love the way these look and i think when it comes down to it it's one of the better non-OG retros that we've gotten in recent times. I just love the details on this pair, the execution, everything that went into it. You literally have a Nike Air with the Jumpman in front of it, double Jumpman on the front. It's just crazy. I'll get into all the details in a second. Translucent outsole, that color. It's just a beautiful shoe. These are going to retail at $210. They release tomorrow. So if you are trying to get your hands on these throughout the video, I'll be showing you what they look like on feet i think these are gonna look fire bro especially with the simple tones on it these literally just have grays and creams with white it just goes perfectly with any fit you're trying to throw on i honestly love this mist blue that they threw on the inside it reminds me of the mist blue fours which i'm patiently waiting for at this point this is definitely the best craft sneaker that jordan has crafted no pun intended best executed it's not over the top with a mysterious ass patch on the side super clean wearable which is the most important part i truly love what they did with these i don't think they missed the mark at all when it comes to this sneaker let's go over all the details on the jordan 3 craft ivory starting with the outsole first things first you get that translucent aged outsole similar to what we saw on the jordan 4 off-white sale it's almost like a tannish off-white color on the outsole then we get this mist blue pod almost like a grayish greenish sage jordan branding towards the heel towards the bottom of the midsole we get this white wrapping around over it around the heel there's the cream which i feel like gives it a little touch of color without doing the most we do have these overlapping panels which are both gray and this elephant print doesn't feel as imprinted as it would on a regular jordan 3 it's almost like flat a printed panel it doesn't really dip in too much then you get the suede patch over it which is why a lot of people are comparing these to the Ama Meniere's. Towards the back, you get this aged heel tab that has the Nike Air printed on the inside and has the Jumpman on the actual rubber. Definitely one of my favorite touches on the sneaker. On the front, you also do get this extra layer of suede, which is what threw some people off. For me, it's really not that serious. When you're looking at it from a distance, it's really not that bad. Being that it's the same tone, it honestly just works. We also get this gray suede, which is stitched over the eyelets it's kind of just like there this is another reason people are comparing these to the amas aged out eyelets cream up here mist gray these do have the mist gray outsole with the white jump man same color as the sock liner and inside the tongue that's pretty much it for all the details on these one thing you might have noticed is that this front part is actually beefy that has to do with the fact that there's so many layers right here when i first looked at them i didn't notice it but then when i started thinking about it i'm like yo these just look like some boots in the front. I wonder how sizing is going to be for these, whether you should size up, size down. I already sized down half a size in threes. Main reason I started sizing down on threes was because of these right here, the white cement reimagined. I got these in my true to size 10 and low key, they dance on me, bro. They started creasing on the front and all that. I like my threes loose laced and I could barely do it because my foot is literally sliding in and out. And it has to do with the way they're doing the new padding on the threes there's literally no padding bro look at this shit compared to the black cements it's just night and day in my opinion do wish these had more padding i also wish i would have just known so i could have just got them in a nine and a half they need to redo these because my pair is low-key beat family this is one of my most worn i think i'm gonna clean them and then retire them for a little bit i think i would have worn these more if the sizing wasn't so off this is actually the first pair i started sizing down on nine and a half they 
fit perfectly. I wore them, no creases. That's the way I like my threes. Hella loose laced, no creases. Best of both worlds. They literally fit perfectly once I size down. The difference isn't too bad, but it's definitely there. Let me know in the comments if y'all notice the beefiness of the ivory threes. I could definitely see it. Maybe it's all in my head, but maybe I'm just tripping. People are comparing these to the Amas. They do have that cream on the back. Obviously, Amas have that plum around it. It's predominantly because of the gray around the elephant print. I still think these both stand alone. They're two completely different sneakers in my opinion. I don't think they overlap each other. I would more so compare these to the canvas, muslin threes, the pure monies, that side of thing. And honestly, these might be better than most of those that I just named simply because it's super wearable like those colorways, but it also does have a bunch of other characteristics that kind of separate this sneaker from all the other ones. This might actually end up going on sale. I don't know why, when, where, or who, but I think that's gonna be the move on these, bro. I don't know if they're gonna move that much simply because the bread reimagined fours are around the corner, which speaking of, bro, I'm sorry. I really thought that shit was gonna happen. They low-key bamboozled us once again. This might be the first time we don't get a shock drop for a reimagined sneaker, but I'll talk about it when I talk about it. I apologize, bro. I really thought that shit was happening, bro. I literally could have just chilled, but whatever. These are dropping tomorrow. That's without a doubt. And I want to know your opinions on this sneaker. I think it's beautiful. Definitely a must cop for me, honestly. This is making me want to grab another pair of white cements, but in a size nine and a half. The amount of outfits you could throw together with the sneaker are endless simply because of the colors that they went with. It's literally gray, white, and cream, bro. If you can't match that, you can't match nothing. I think these are fire. Let me know what y'all rate these in the comments. Solid nine out of 10 for me, especially being a non-OG GR release. Definitely knocked it off the park. And I want to see what other Jordan 3 craft colorways there are in store. We've seen two different versions of the Jordan 4 craft. So I'm pretty sure they're going to do another colorway of the Jordan 3s. And if they look anything like this with a different palette, I might be down. I low key might be down, bro. I'm not going to lie, but that pretty much does it for the review of the Jordan 3 craft ivories. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be picking these up. Best of luck with you. Probably don't even need low key. You could definitely pull up to the mall and grab these on release date for retail. You might fuck around and even be able to wait and get them for a discount if you're patient enough. That definitely doesn't take away from the fact that this is a fire pair of sneakers. I'm excited for this year, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all. There's a lot of fire releases that are yet to come and we're definitely going to be picking up a lot of early heat this year. I appreciate y'all for always showing love. My goal is to post every other day from here on now. I might miss a day. I do apologize if I do when I do. My goal is every other day, at least 14 to 15 videos a month is in my brain for this year. I'm going to go crazy. I promise way more early heat on the way. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video so we can spread to the algorithm and shit. I guess all that being said, I'm going to catch y'all in one of these two videos because low key, that's what YouTube is recommending you to watch based on your previous history. Check one of those two videos out and I'm going to catch you there. Peace.